Breaking news, Nigerians shocked as Professor Akintoye speaks on Tinubu's presidential, um, you know, Tinubu becoming Nigerian's president. Professor Akintoye is um, the leader of the Lena Omodua and um, one person who has been speaking about the Southeast living, the Southwest, I beg your pardon, leaving Nigeria as a result of insecurity and abnormalities going on. The Nigerian government clearly shows that they have no capacity, no true capacity to look after Nigerian citizens. In his opinion, he feels the Yoruba race will be able to look after themselves. And going back to the old region, you know, kind of thing, was either that or the Yorubas leave. And so Professor Akintoye is speaking about Tinubu, who wants to become Nigerian's president. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. If I am asked to bring somebody from Yoruba land to be president, I will pick Tinubu, Professor Akintoye. Professor Banji Akintoye, the leader of Ilena or Modua, the self-determination group, has said he will support the candidacy of the All Progressive Congress as Shiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. If asked a question by a journalist working with Punch, if he supports the candidacy of Tinubu, I was asked to bring, if I am asked to bring someone from Yoruba land today to be Nigerian's president, I will go for Bola Tinubu, but the time is not right. People are being killed. Our people are in large, large numbers are being killed. I will first of all want things to be sorted out before we go about to talk about becoming Nigerian's president. That's not the main issue for now. That's not the main issue for now. The real issue is, first of all, let's solve the problem on ground. Then we can begin to look at who wants to be Nigerian's president. If I'm asked to bring somebody, it would definitely be Tinubu. He's a man who has the stature and what it takes. The professor says Tinubu has what it takes. He's a people's person. But to his surprise, he said that he will choose Tinubu and this has really surprised a lot of Nigerians. He will choose Tinubu from the entire Southwest. And this is what he said. This is wrong timing for one to be talking about who becomes Nigerian's president as a result of the level of insecurity. Tinubu has not seen the has not seen the support of the Yoruba nation, which make many people surprised that Professor Banji Akinto you will say his preferred choice of candidate would have been Tinubu says because Tinubu is the man who has the charisma and Tinubu is a great leader. However, he says it is not the right time and feel that more should have been done. And talking about who becomes Nigerian's president is not for now. So, I mean, he's not, um, he's not denying the fact that Tinubu has got what it takes. You know, uh, he shocked Nigerians when he said Tinubu was his preferred choice of candidate. He said, yeah, that he would prefer Tinubu. He will prefer Tinubu. He said, because if you look at Tinubu very well, Tinubu is a great leader, according to Professor Banji Akintoye. He said, but uh, that's not the main issue. Whether you like it or not, a lot of things are going on in terms of protection of lives and property. And the government seems not to have gotten a hack of it. And they don't care because Buhari is just there. It can't be bothered. In fact, elections should do and come. He has fulfilled his lifelong ambition. And what is that? To be Nigerian's president, both as military and civilian, just like Olusheg Wabasanjo, that was Buhari. That was a, a, you know a Buhari's dream, and now he has fulfilled that dream. Oof! What a breath of fresh air! He has fulfilled that dream. That's all he ever dreamt of. That's ever he wanted. You know, he wanted to match. You know, uh, you know, he wanted to match uh, Olusheg Wabasanjo in that regards, in that right. You know, and now that he has done it, he's quite satisfied. He's quite contented, you know, with what he has done. And um, that's it. If the sky is falling, so be it. In fact, he's going from one country to, to another. He can't be bothered. Okay, people are the one thinking about whatever, whatever it is. He's not bothered. He can't be bothered. He's just living his life, his wife and children, not in the country. And so in his own right, there is safety for him. And so everybody or anyone, whatever every other person is doing, is fine. For him, it's fine. He, he, can't, he can't even bother himself on 
you know, current days issue and what is happening. So these are some of the things going on and why Nigerians, you know, are beginning to, you know, Nigerians were really shocked when Professor Banji Akinto said, Tinubu is his choice. Okay, if there's a choice of candidate, it is Tinubu, not any other person. His choice of candidate would have been Tinubu. And he said Tinubu was, a, you know, somebody that is a great leader and somebody who he could potentially, you know, bring in that regards to become, a, you know, a leader of the people. However, this has not gone down well with everybody. So people feel quite differently, you know. And so when he said he would choose Tinubu, it caused it quite a stare. Because we know that Tinubu was the person who did not even support Nigerians in that way, in that regards at all. I mean, he did not support the Yoruba nation. He was the one who made a press conference telling, you know, everyone just before they were to go to Lagos State on the, you know, uh, on the, you know, making the people on the awareness tour that, you know, Yoruba nation. And guess what? We know what happened in that Lagos. It was God that really saved people. A lot of persons were, were, were given, they forcefully accused people because they wore, you know, amnets and the red. They say, ah, this one was carrying ammunition and just wanted to put people in serious trouble, you know. So Tinubu is that person who has never really supported the whole Yoruba nation struggle. So for Professor Akinto to say that his preferred candidate would have been Tinubu, you know, it really gave people a lot of like, oh, really? You know, so it is what it is. Elections are around the corner, Nigerians. And the best thing for you and I to do is to get our PVCs and let's make a difference. Whoever anybody is suggesting to you is inconsequential. So long as you, okay, you are assured of the candidates you think could potentially be the best and bring a lot of difference to Nigeria as it is. So it is important that we get our PVCs, that we participate actively, that we vote. It is important. It's so important. It's too important. We cannot even, we cannot begin to uh, question in that regard. We must do what is absolutely right and necessary to ensure that, you know, every one of us contributes a quota meaningfully and impactfully to bring about a change. So these are some of the things going on and then why every one of us must get our PVCs. You see, this is why we must be ready, why we must absolutely and completely be ready to deliver on those mandates. You know, leave us a comment. It is your civic responsibility, by the way. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now.